Okay, so as you can see, we are going to talk about some of the conventional terms uh, mentioned into uh, Pharma Europa and what is the meaning of those terms. So we often come across certain terms during uh, monograph reading, understanding general chapters and these conventional terms are very important to be understood very well and that is the purpose of creating this video. So the first important term as far as analytical fraternity is concerned, how one can say that the substance is accurately weighed or measured. So you may have this term into your monograph that talks about weigh accurately, let us say 100 mg of the reference standard. So what is the variation allowed for accurately weighed uh, reference standard? And that is the, the purpose of this term. The amount actually used which may deviate by not more than 10% from that stated is accurately weighed or measured and the result is calculated from this exact quantity. That means if you say that 100 mg has to be taken, so I can say that the 100 mg is taken accurately or measured accurately if the weight taken is in between. 90 mg to 110 mg so which is exactly in between the 10 percent variation minus 10 percent becomes 90 mg and plus 10 percent becomes 110 mg so this is called as the accurately weight but more importantly in this situation you need to consider the actual quantity actual quantity measured for your further calculation part so the next important uh, conventional term is the dried to constant mass. Now this term is particularly used uh, when, if you, when you are conducting the loss on drying or a residue on ignition. You must have read this particular term in the process. So what this term indicates? The term dried to constant mass and dried to constant uh, or ignited to constant mass means that two consecutive weighings do not differ by more than 0.5 mg. So how much should not be the weight between two consecutive weighings? Not more than 0.5 mg. Let me give an example over here. For example, let us say you are conducting a uh, loss on drying. And this is the weight of your first dried sample, 5489.80 milligram. When you go for the second consecutive drying, and uh, then you measure the weight of the second drying, and it is found to be 5489.40 milligram. So what is the difference between this weight, weight one minus weight two, is coming 0 0.40 milligram. So is it greater than 0.5 mg or less than 0.5 mg? So it is less than 0.5 mg. So the difference between two consecutive weighings is not more than 0.5 mg. So I can say now the constant weight has been achieved. So this is the way you can stop further loss on drying process or the ignited to constant mass or the loss on ignition process. But for, for example, if the observed mass difference is more than 0.5 mg, for example, 0.8 milligram. In that case, you need to again go for the third consecutive drying. The next conventional term can be a solvent. Where the name of the solvent is not stated, the term solution implies a solution in a water. So in case if uh, monograph says that prepare a solution in, uh, prepare a 10% solution. Now the solvent is not known to you. That means the solvent by default has to be a water. So you need to make the 10% solution of the substance in a water. That is the purpose of this, this term solvent. Then if uh, your monograph or procedure talks about ethanol, here is the meaning of the ethanol term. The term ethanol without qualification means anhydrous ethanol means anhydrous ethanol and uh, the term alcohol without qualification means ethanol within 96 percent so anhydrous ethanol means doesn't contain any water it can be at most 100 percent pure but the the term alcohol means what 96 percent of the ethanol 
So this is the difference between just ethanol and just alcohol term. Then again very important term during the storage or treatment is the temperature. So when an analytical procedure describes temperature without a figure, the general terms used have the following meaning. So before I explain the temperature terms, let me first introduce myself. I am Bhaskar Napte, founder of the Pharma Growth Hub and I am on the mission to help pharmaceutical professionals to achieve the absolute clarity on various such topics. So in case if you are struggling to understand such uh, technical terms, if you are struggling to achieve your desired career growth, do consider joining the Pharma Growth Hub. So you can find the services and the courses offered by Pharma Growth Hub in the description. Please go through the description and take the action. Thank you so much. Let us now talk about uh, in case if the, the figure of the temperature is not explained or given with the help of certain terms like room temperature, what is the proposed, what is the required temperatures? So in case of room temperature, it is 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. If your procedure mentions either cold or cool temperature, that means you should attain the temperature of in between 8 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius. If your method mentioned that the refrigerate the sample or store in a refrigerator, that means that you are supposed to maintain or store the product in between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. For deep freeze means below minus 15 degrees Celsius. So these are the some of the conventional terms and their meanings according to the Pharma Europa. Thank you so much for watching the video.